Stephen Hand from Archery Suppliers. Today we're going to look at the PSE Drive R. And this is one of my most popular bows I sell. Um, I sell about 700 of these a year. Um, it's my second biggest selling bow. Speed wise on this thing it shoots at 335 feet per second so at its price point of 700 Australian dollars it makes it one of the cheapest fastest bows in production which I think is why this bow is really popular. Now quick thing about this bow is machine riser Compression limbs, so the limbs are straight, pulled under lots of pressure to make them to make the bow shoot faster. The compression also reduces the vibration on the strings and the cables. Um, comes with a string stop to make it quieter. The top cam is a hybrid cam, so it's a round wheel around here, so there's no module on the top, so basically no timing issues. Down the bottom, here you've got the letters which are standard on all the PSEs. Basically, the longest is A, the shortest is whatever letter that is, L down the bottom, and you have a module here. So this here is a stop, that there, so you have to move the stop and move the module down here. Now I'm setting this up for a customer. Um, they've got roller bearings in the wheels, so good wheel system, nice to shoot. Now the problem is there's two screws on this bow. Now I've just set this on 28 and a half inches for the customer. Um, and the little grub screw under here is hidden by the limb. So to adjust the draw length on the drive at certain draw lengths, it's actually really hard to do. Now the way you overcome this is you pull on the cable. So pull on this cable and pull this close to the riser. And you might need someone. And this little screw will become, um, you'll be able to see it. Oh, that hurt. Um, and you'll be able to see that screw. So with two people, you'll be able to adjust the draw length at specific draw lengths. Other draw lengths is not affected. So that's the down point on this. Now the drive's been made by PSE for a number of years. The drive R, which is this one, um, is new for 2016. Last year was the drive LT, which was light. This year it's slightly lighter. I think it's weighs about 3.9 in weight. Um, it's adjustable from 25 to 30 and a half. 30 inch axle axle, I'm pretty sure it's around 4, 3.9 in weight. The weight's really, really good on this bow. Now this year it's a machine riser, the last year was cast. Um, the pockets are now made out of a plastic as opposed to metal. Um, this bow's really nice. Now one of the things that's changed on the drive, the drive R, it's now got 20 pounds of weight adjustment. Previously it had 10. So you've got 13 turns on the limb bolts here to change the poundage, which is a really good thing for this bow because it's still aimed at the beginner market and you need that draw length poundage adjustment because most beginners will go, oh, look, I want a 60 pound bow, but they can't draw 60 and they're capable of drawing around 45. So before I found with the 60 to 50, I didn't get enough draw length adjustment in the bow. It comes in three colors. This is the Skullworks, um, which is new for 2016. It has the you know gold running through it. It comes in black and also the camo. PSE has matching camo for their accessories. This is the matching um, stabilizer. They have matching sights. Um, they have matching quivers, um, which is really, really nice. Now the competitors for this bow. So I'm gonna start off with the Stinger. Now this is my biggest selling bow that I have in the shop. The Stinger, basic, people are looking to buy the drive will be looking at the Stinger first off. This bow shoots at 315 feet per second. It's a cast riser, single cam. You're talking price point of about $500. So for an extra $200, you're gaining the machine riser, hybrid cam system, 335 feet per second as opposed to 315, so 20 feet per second for $200. And I think that's why the drive sells so well. Now the competitors I have up here for the drive in the price point. Um, one's the Mission Ballistic um, made by Matthews. This is a really nice draw cycle. The down point, downside on this bow is this is modular adjustment. So you've got to buy new modules if you want to change the draw length. So it's got a downside for second hand sale. It's a nice bow to shoot. Um, machine riser compression limbs, good cam system. Um, now the drive, let's say I sell 700 drives a year. These bows I don't sell very many of. It's a nice bow to shoot. Um, the drive just seems to 
flow a bit better. It may be the price point on this bow, I'm not certain, but definitely the modules. Modules, you're looking at around $70 for a set of modules. So if you get your bow and it's 28 inches and you want to go 28 and a half, it's going to cost you another $70. The Bear Crux um, from Bear, very similar system, compression limbs, modular cams, but this one you've got modules top and bottom. Speed on this is about 320 feet per second. Nice bow, Bear make a really good quality bow. I think the downside on this bow is it comes in a kit. So it comes with a whisker biscuit, sight and a quiver. And I think the kit price probably puts it at a price point beyond the drive. Um, as a bow, I don't think this bow is available in just a bow to compete on just a bow level. So I think with the Bear it kind of prices itself out of the market a little bit. And it is price it's affordable, but I think the drive kit from PSE is a little bit better value. So I think the drive kit I sell for 860 with release aid and arrows, and I think that's 860 without release aid and arrows. Now this is the charger from Hoyt, cast riser, um, module adjustment, sorry, you need to buy modules to adjust the draw length from this bow. This bow shoots, I think it's 315 feet per second, and this bow is about $800, so it's about $100 more, slower. Modules you need to buy to change the draw length, plastic limb pockets, which is now standard on all these bows, except for the bear, the bear's metal. Um, so these bows I sell, I, I really struggle to sell, so but if you're a Hoyt shop and you don't stock the PSE or if you've got a special deal where you get paid special money for selling the Hoyt, you're probably going to sell more of them. But the drive for me is my second biggest seller in the store. So what we're going to do, now speed wise we've shot this bow before, I'm just going to move this. Now I'm at 18 metres, I normally shoot this up close but I'm going to shoot this at 18 metres straight off the bat. I've got a basic. Um, five pin hunting sight and I have sighted this in at five meters. It's a basic hunting stabilizer and we're just going to sort of shoot it. The PSEs beyond the drive, the more expensive ones, they become slightly faster um, but there's not a lot of difference between this bow and the more expensive versions like the Bow Madness and I think that's why this bow is so so popular. Um, I've shot one of these around a field course. My cousin shoots one of these bows. Um, and I shot a perfect score with it. Um, I think it's really good. It's got timing marks here. Once again, the timing marks are more for string replacement. Um, if you need to replace the string, just to tell you your bows, you know, shooting how it should be. Now the draw cycle on this bow is really, really nice. Because of the big, it's got big cams on it. They're a hybrid cam system, so a round wheel, so it makes it really, really smooth. So we're just going to shoot the shot. So I'm drawing this bow back. Drawing, but still peaking here. I'm starting to hit a valley, starting to hit a valley, low up valley, valley, stop. Now the draw stop on this boat is completely solid. It doesn't move when I get back. Um, there's no draw stop on the top. Um, some bows do have draw stops on the top. This doesn't. I don't think you need it. It's like, to me, this cam is very much like the Beast cam that I've done reviews on. It's like a big version of the Supra and Expression cam. Smoother than the Supra, smoother than the Expression, and very much like a Beast to draw, because it's basically the same cam system. So I'm going to shoot a few, few arrows at 18 meters with a hunting setup and sort of see how they group. I did one on the Matthews Helen X, and I didn't shoot very well, so. Um, I was a bit embarrassed by the group actually. So let's see how this one goes. Like I said, I have shot a really, really good score with this bow. I mean, this bow shoots really, really well. So we'll just do a few more shots.
I mean, it aims easy. It's easy to hold, 80% let off. It doesn't feel like I want it to rip out of your hands. Just a real easy bow to shoot. Easy to adjust. Now this bow has been sold to a beginner and I've had to set it up and I'm, he's setting up with this peep sight. Without the rubber this peep sight takes a bit of work to get sighted in. I had to rotate the string. You can't really do it without a bow press. Um, so that took me probably around half an hour, 40 minutes just to fit the peep sight. Alright, we'll run down to the target. Okay, I'm down here at the target. Now I shot a few arrows, they're all in the gold. Slide to that side of the target. But I can kind of get my hand all around them. Which to me, I shoot this bow as well as any other bow in the shop. It is 30 inches axle axle, so it's a little bit more... What's the word? It makes the string act angle... So what I'm looking for is less forgiving. But to me it's not less forgiving because I know I've shot really good scores with this bow. It makes the angle on the string more acute. So your ability to make a modif modification to the shot and to make errors is enhanced, um, I find, with shorter bows. But to me it's a really easy to bow to shoot. To me, like that's a basic five pin sight. It's a basic hunting setup. And obviously, I hadn't actually shot this bow at 18 meters before this. So I shot it at five meters. Um, that's pretty good. Uh, it's probably as good as I shot with the beast. Um, I mean, if those sights were across here, there'd be a few tens there. And to me, that's shooting good. So I love PSE. I love the service from PSE. If you have a problem, they fix it. The serial number is engraved in the handle just here and when, whenever you claim warranty or you have a problem you've always got to quote that number. But the people at PSE really look after customers. Customer service is not an issue and I, I know I harp on this but to me customer service is everything because if a customer has a problem they're going to get angry and I just don't need that. I don't make a lot of money when I sell electric gear. And PSE just look after customers and they look after me. Um, so to me, I love PSE. This is an awesome bow. My second biggest selling bow in the shop. And I think it's an improvement from last year's Drive LT. To me, it kind of makes the bow madness and those other bows in the lineup a little expensive. But this bow is shorter than the bow madness. So for the bow madness, which is longer, 34s, 32s, you're basically buying that extra length, which makes the bow a little bit more forgiving. So, but overall, it's an awesome bow, and price point wise, I mean this bow to me, $700, it's going to shoot as good as any $1,200 bow on the market, without a question. You rock up with this bow at a club, shoot 3D, um, hunting, you're going to be shooting the same speeds, same accuracy as anyone else. There's no question with this bow. With the Stinger and bows at $500 point, you're giving up, pro you're giving up, you're getting a cast riser and you're giving up the speed. With this, you get everything at that price point. So I'm Stephen Hare from Archery Supplies. That's a drive R from PSE. Awesome product for 2016. Check it out. Thank you. Bye.